You're here. I have good news. We do not have any of Ranrock's loyalists to contend with. Of course, the bad news is that it's likely because they no longer need to track the Keepers for information. Revelio. This place could do with a bit of pruning. Let's look around. Incendium. Is that a... It is. I believe I know what must be done. Do you recognize the head sculpted there? That's a head. I can't say that I do. It appears to be a fearsome beast known as a Graphorn. And the prints carved into the ground lead me to believe that a Graphorn will somehow open the way forward. That's what Professor Rackham meant when he spoke of my needing an ability to interact with beasts. It would seem so. I do know that the last of a long dynasty of Graphorns lives nearby. They call him the Lord of the Shore. I suspect you'll need to bring him here. What happens next, I can't say. If that's what must be done, I'll do it. Excellent. I know this area well enough. When you see the remains of a large sea creature, you're in the right place. Now, Professor Rackham made it clear that you must engage with any beast that is part of this trial on your own. So I shall wish you good luck and wait for your return in the map chamber. This must be the place. Revelio. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Very well, Lord of the Shore. Show yourself.
I need to race now, my friend. Poachers. Let's see how the Lord of the Shore feels about his neighborhood being invaded. <sighs> that bridge whether you like it or not. Perhaps Professor Rakham was right to have had faith in you. I still have my reservations. Isadora, as you will see, was not who she seemed. I can only hope that you are. My memories should answer any questions you may have about the power you will need to protect. Thank you, Professor Bakar. I shall see you back in the map chamber. Hello? Isadora? Isadora? Mr. 
Son, I'm glad you're here. Isadora was not at her home. I know. Her father. Oh, Percival. What is it? It is as though he was stripped not only of his pain, but of all emotion. Everything is much worse than I feared. Neve was right. Isadora hasn't stopped. I've just learned that she has been wielding that magic on students. We must gather the others. Turn to your common room, all right? Students? No one. Isadora, set down your wand. Professor, you taught me to hone my power, not throw it away. I did not teach you this. Expelliarmus! <laughs> The caverns below Hogwarts, where you fought Isadora, is that the location of the final repository? It is. You see, we could not destroy the strands of emotion Isadora had stolen from so many. So we did all that we could to keep them safe. We also realized that until they could be destroyed, the magic used to create them was a danger to wizard kind. Hence, we became keepers. Keepers of an unfathomable secret. We knew that someday, one with the ability to see traces of ancient magic might be seduced by its power. We built the trials to lead that person to us. To allow them to prove themselves worthy of the knowledge we'd kept hidden and the responsibility that accompanies it. Have I not proven myself, Professor? I need to get to that repository before Ranrock does. You have, and you will. But the repository is protected by powerful ancient magic. To enter, you must craft a special wand from the four artifacts you found above our pensives. 
so the repository is safe from Ranrock for now. If he is, as you suspect, capable of using the power of the other repository, I fear he will be able to breach our defenses. Then I must go now and craft this wand. Perhaps Mr. Ollivander will help me. Another Ollivander? I'm not surprised. As I am sure he will tell you, this wand may be used for only one purpose. Return with the wand, and we will open the way forward. I shall send an owl ahead to Ollivander. Whilst you visit him, I'll reach out to Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley? Yes. I may have made an error in judgment by not informing her of Ranrock's intentions earlier. I only hope it's not too late. If Ranrock really is going to try to drill below Hogwarts, we'll need all the help we can get. All right, Professor. I'll see you soon. Sebastian. Did you hear that? You saw what happened. I never wanted to hurt my uncle. I know. I can't believe he's gone. How did things go so wrong? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to... Oh, Anne, I was only trying to help. I can't leave now. Anne needs me more than ever. You understand. You can talk to Ominous. Make him understand. He listens to you. I need to be with Anne. I don't know what to do, Sebastian. You don't know. You do know. Anne has no one. I regret everything I did. I know what I did was wrong. I only hope she can forgive me. That everyone can forgive me. No matter what happens from here, I'm glad we met. Poor Sebastian. Ominous. What a mess. I can't believe it. After I last saw you, I went straight to Hogwarts. Before I had time to talk to Black, I heard from Anne. I rushed to Feldcroft and found her with Solomon's body. She was beside herself with grief. Part of her wants Sebastian to face the consequences, another part can't bear the thought of it. I don't want to lose Sebastian, but I don't think we have a choice. We don't have a choice. You're right. You were right the entire time. I wish I hadn't been. If we do this, we may never see Sebastian again. I realize that, but it's the right thing to do. He killed his uncle. We've tried to justify his actions every step of the way, but this has gone too far. It has to stop. Very well. Leave it to me. I'll tell the headmaster. Farewell for now. I shall be in touch. Whatever lies ahead, we must face it together. That I know. Hello, Mr. Ollivander. I wondered if you might be able to help me with something. Good to see you, my young Ravenclaw friend. Allow me once again to express my family's gratitude. They were pleased to learn that the wand Richard Jackdaw disappeared with those many years ago had been located, even if it was somewhat unusable. Glad to hear it. Now, I received an owl from Eleazar, uh, Professor Fig. He was a bit cryptic, said you need to have a special wand crafted, that you'd bring me the materials. Yes, sir. I have them here. Oh, my. How extraordinary. Remarkable design. I will be honest, I have never crafted a wand in this fashion. Repaired broken wands, of course, but this is something else entirely. Keeping me on my toes, aren't you? I think I can work with what you've brought me. Let me see what I can do.
It is done. I should warn you, I've never seen a one like this before. My suspicion, as Professor Fig implied in his letter, is that it serves a unique purpose. I doubt you shall find much use for it otherwise. I understand. Thank you, sir. I'm afraid you're on your own. I've ensured that we have a moment to ourselves. Oh, come, come. No need for such theatrics. In light of what Ranrock now knows, you must agree that our interests are aligned. Our interests will never be aligned. You would let goblins take what is rightfully ours. The final repository belongs to wizard kind. We would be fools not to work together. What's that you've got there? Might this sudden visit to the wand maker have something to do with our mutual pursuit? I have no idea what you're talking about. That repository is my birthright! Charles Rookwood wouldn't have wanted you near it. <laughs> the arrogance. Should have known better than to try and reason with a child. I've always said, children should be seen and not heard. Oh, 
Believe it. Rookwood's reign is finally over. I'll need to send an Alta Natty right away. For now, though, I need to get back to the map chamber and tell Fig what happened. <laughs> 